Here we go. KSYM, San Antonio College Radio. This is the Urban Suite D Major, Cheryl Metal with you. Joining us for our open mic session this evening, uh, he was here alongside Hunter Dollars recently, and we are very happy to have him back uh, solo, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Concept, how are you this evening? Oh, I'm doing great, man. Just got back from New Orleans for Thanksgiving, and I uh, feel rejuvenated, refueled, ready to get back into the music and finish the year strong. How, how, how was uh, New Orleans? How was uh, everything here? It was great, man. Uh, being from there, it's always nice to be able to just kind of shoot back down I-10 and uh, see my family, my mm -hmm. grandmother, my mom, my sisters. Uh, it's that like rejuvenating energy, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. But then you come back to San Antonio, it feels like home here as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so I do like that that as well. I did miss it. Yeah. So. Yeah. How was it growing up in New Orleans, actually? Um, New Orleans was a very interesting melting pot, right? You mm -hmm. have a lot of different cultures, a lot of different influences. Um, the food, obviously, was my biggest influence, if uh -huh. you couldn't tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, um, and I'm, I'm a chef yeah. as well, so oh, growing word. up, uh, cooking is what I love to do. I okay. would cook with my grandma, I would cook with my uncle, uh, my great aunt sold plates, so uh, we've been cooking our whole lives. Oh, man. You got a special? Um, I would uh, say at the moment, to. you know, um, I'm really into uh, panini pressed po' boys. I've been making nice. kind of Cuban style po' boys. Okay. Yeah, you nice. know what I mean? Okay. Trying to get a little uh, fusion going on, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound good. You know? We'll take two now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I look like this, man. I just can't get away from the bread. I can't say anything. I got a sandwich for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will take that sandwich, you know, most definitely. Man, so, um, man, just uh, being around New Orleans and everything, what got you into music? What was your, one of your first, uh, earliest memories of being around music before you actually, you know, delved into it, you know? Being around it, I would honestly say my grandfather. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, driving around with my grandfather. I believe he drove like some type of old Lincoln at the time. Okay. And he would play all those old player tracks. You know, uh, we were listening to the OJs. Uh, you know, we're listening to um, uh, uh, Across 110th Street, Bobby Womack. You know what oh, I mean? And we're yeah, yeah, we're listening to stuff yeah. like that. You know, um, Super Curtis Mayfield, a lot of Superfly. Nice, yeah. Um, my grandpa was a real cool guy. Um, those are my first introductions to so really mm -hmm. the old music around my grandmother's house Sunday mornings, um, turning on the gospel radio. I'm a big Kirk Franklin fan, you know okay. what I mean? Things like that. So, uh, and then in New Orleans, there's music all the time. Brass oh. bands were huge growing up. So, um, yeah, that was my that was my introduction. Truthfully, it wasn't mm -hmm. hip hop, you know. So, um, what sparked the interest then? Actually, you know, to uh, to dabble before you know becoming an an artist yourself, you know. Um, truthfully, uh, when Hurricane Katrina came through, okay. um, I moved to Maryland. Uh, Maryland. And, yes, I was in Maryland, which to me, I didn't even know what Maryland was shaped like. I couldn't even tell you very much about the geography of it at that point, eighth grade, right? Um, but I moved to Maryland after uh, during Hurricane Katrina, and I needed to make friends. Yeah. You know, it was really a social situation for me where music was where I was accepted mm -hmm. uh, first. So I joined a band. I was doing rap features in like a live band, uh, performing at like local open mics and stuff like that. Joined a rap group from there and okay. uh, it's been history, so. The transition, I can only imagine, you know, going through a tragedy like Katrina and then having to uproot and go to a whole new part of the country right. that you do not recognize <laughs> different food like maryland weather. i hear it's it, maryland's a whole different kind of uh creature yeah yeah different food different weather different people everything um i can just only imagine the transition yeah it, it was a lot um at the time you know when you're young you kind of just Mm -hmm. adapt how you can you know and you don't realize at the time maybe the trouble you're getting into or the hard time you're having fitting in is because of that drastic change mm -hmm. you know uh, when I look back on it 
I, you know, see where I could have maybe had more patience and more understanding. But again, you're so young, you know, you got to just do what you can. So uh, it was hard, but I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. I can't lie. I wouldn't change anything about it. Man. Man. Um, so um, getting into that same music was that, 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 that bridge, that, you know, connection that you made with... Uh, people in Maryland to you know, become friends, yeah. to make friends and, and eventually you say you made a, a rap group? Yes, yes. So um, how did all of that evolve into you actually becoming a uh, full-fledged artist? Um, well, ironically, when I was in that rap group, uh, I played football. Okay. Uh, so I was uh, playing like varsity football when I was a freshman. Most of my friends were older. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I went to 10th grade, they had graduated. Uh, the rap group I joined kind of got like signed to a little college label situation. Really? So I was in 10th grade doing like small college tours. So okay. I did like West Virginia, Salisbury, Frostburg, like small Maryland universities and things. And we're like performing at these shows. Like yeah. some of these pictures are still up on Facebook and things like that of me performing at these events. Mm -hmm. Um and that was really like my crash course into doing your paperwork. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Knowing the business, obviously I never got a cent or, you know what I mean? I, was there money? Who knows? You know what I mean? I didn't even care at the time because I was so excited to even be doing something like that. Well, yeah. Once again, with friends mm -hmm. uh, that I didn't even think about the business side of the situation. I don't even have any of the music that we made at the time. So, wow. um, yeah, so that was a, that was a very you know, almost like an MF Doom style. Like, you know, I went from being very positive and very, you know, oh, this music is great, live jam band stuff to like, man, y'all really messed me over. Like, here's the darker side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And kind of went into solo music and more down that path, you know what I mean? Away from the jam band into grittier hip hop. Yeah. Know? But how does it feel to, you know, be going around to like, like I said, small, what, D2, D3, NAIA, right. colleges, throughout the area how does it feel to be on on an actual college campus as a high school student um performing and, and, and i look so old people. that yeah. no one knew right so yeah. i'm a big dude i got a beard you know what i mean i'm hanging with the older guys i played football so mm -hmm. really i just tried to keep my age kind of on tough, yeah though. on the low it wasn't yeah. really think anything i would gloat about but once again i think i learned a lot mm -hmm. but i got into a lot too fast yeah you know what i mean i grew up obviously quite quickly <laughs> you know going from Katrina straight into you know what I'm saying the college situation amongst you know I would say you know I don't want to put it that way but a different demographic yeah. you know than I was used to entirely mm -hmm. uh going from being just another dude to standing out a bit more you yeah. know what I mean um so that was adapt you know something I had to adapt to yeah and I liked it you know right like if you can do the right thing with attention, mm -hmm. you can benefit from it later on, networking connection wise. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Totally understand. <laughs> you know, hey, uh, y'all stay tuned. We've got a lot more with uh, concept coming up in this block of music. We have a track from Hunter Dollars and the latest from our, from our uh, friend C Mac. But let's go ahead and get into this track from Concept, Big Texas, and AK. The Savior? Oh, wow. Yeah. Shout out Underachievers, man. Yep, yep. Okay. The track is called The Three Wise Men. Do not go anywhere, y'all. More coming up. This is the Urban Suite KSYM San Antonio College Radio. Yeah. 